Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about a seldom used and lesser known feature, almost a hidden feature of Microsoft Access that is to allow you to have your database self-destruct after 24 hours. Why would you want to do this? Well, maybe you have sensitive information in the database and you only want to give users the ability to use it for a limited time or you might want to give someone a sample of your database so they can try it out before they buy it. Um, but in any case, this feature will allow you to have the database erase itself after one day or whatever interval you set. Well, how do you do this? This only exists in a Microsoft 365 subscription. So you go to file, then come down to options and then go to the current database tab and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see this option down here way at the bottom called self-destruct. Just click on the enable box next to that. Then hit OK and restart your database. Now when your database starts up, nothing will appear to happen because you don't want the user to necessarily know what's going to self-destruct in 24 hours. But you'll find that you now have a self-destruct form right there. If you open it up, there's the clock. And you can see it's counting down. Now you can set the options for how long you want it to count down up to 24 hours, but you can make it less than that. In fact, I've got some VB code in this button right here that I have to uh, bring it down to 10 seconds just so I can show you what happens when it's getting ready to self-destruct. Are you ready? All right, I'm going to click on the button and now we're at 10 seconds and we'll see what happens here when the database actually self-destructs. All right, we're at three, two, one. <laughs> did I get you? Did I get you? I figured last year I did something kind of cruel and a lot of people were mad at me. So this year it was something pretty easy. So April fools everyone. Now, with that being said, just like last year, there was a, a, a little bit of truth to my April fools joke. There's also some truth to this one. Now, while this isn't a built in feature in access, Yes, I made this screen up in PowerPoint with a little graphics editing. That's, that's all me. But if you do want your database to self-destruct, and you, let's say you want to give a sample database to someone so they can check it out, there are things you can do with a little bit of code to do what I just did. I just I programmed this up in like a half an hour. And let me walk you through what I did. First of all, I'm going to shut down the main menu because the main menu has the timer in it. And this is just another little form with a picture in it. All right, so here's what I did. So in the global module here, I set up three variables, okay? There's H, M, and S, hours, minutes, and seconds. And I made it global so that every form in the database can use it, okay? Then the main menu, when the main menu loads up, go to design view, all right? There's an onload event right here. And that onload event sets the timer to whatever I want. 23 hours, 59 minutes, 59 seconds, okay? Then there's a form timer event, which you can see right down here, form timer event, okay? That runs every second, that's a, that's a thousand milliseconds, right? It runs a timer event, and all the timer event does is once, once I said once, once each second, right, it counts down, okay? If hour is zero and minute is zero and second is zero, it opens up the AF, which is my April Fool's form, that's the Captain Picard form, right? All right, and it closes down the self-destruct form, which is the one with the clock on it, and then it exits out. Okay, um, and I should probably add in here me dot timer interval equals zero. That shuts the timer off too, so the timer doesn't keep running even after the clock has run out. Okay, and this just here, this just counts it down. It says seconds equals seconds minus one. If seconds is negative one, then drop one off the minute, reset the seconds to 59. If the minutes is negative one, drop one off the hour, Reset the minutes to 59 and so on. Okay, so that's just, that's your counting on clock right there. And here's my button to set it to zero hours, zero minutes, 10 seconds. Okay, my little fake button there. Well, it's not a fake, it really does it. Now, if you wanna learn more about the timer event programming, I've got a video on that, how to make a reminder pop up, go watch this. I'll put a link down below. Okay, and if you wanna make a demo version of your database, run through my simple security video. This will teach you how to do things like uh, hiding sensitive objects. You can hide your forms and your tables. You can hide your navigation pane. You can disable the ribbon, all right? You can make an execute only version of the database. And if you got sensitive data in the database that you want to also self-destruct, you can use a delete query, right? When that timer runs down to zero, run a delete query. It'll delete all the data in your tables.
You could even, if you wanted to, shell out to another database that could delete your primary database. Or you could shell out to like a batch file if you know how to write a batch file. But you can make one access database delete the other one. And I cover that in my database launcher video, how to get your access database to launch another database. And finally, if you do want to self-destruct a database, but let's say you want to give someone a paid version, and if they don't pay, like a, like a monthly subscription, you could have it time out then if they don't pay their bill by like the fifth of the month. You can force them to have to call you to get a code or email you or whatever. And I do have a seminar called my registration seminar that, uh, that, that, that helps you do that. It, it gives them a code, and they've got to call you to get the code. So... So yes, while the self-destruct feature, this was an April Fool's joke, you can kind of pretty much do something like this. It's not a built-in access function, but with a little bit of creative VBA programming, you can do pretty much anything with Microsoft Access. So April Fool's, I hope this uh, entertained you if nothing else, and uh, live long and prosper. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1, and it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.